Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Larissa Gabi Show. I'm so, so happy to have my beautiful sister, Queen Maureen, today as a guest. I don't want to say much about her, but uh, you're going to hear why I'm so excited. Lately, I was in U.S. for the second time at the Global Beauty Hour, as many of my friends have been following me on Facebook and on Instagram. And uh, we're going to speak about it, uh, about how it started and why this woman entrepreneur is is taking her time to change the pageant world with her their vision. Welcome, Maureen. Thanks so much for having me and just thank you for your patience. I've only heard wonderful things about you. And when I finally met you at the Global Beauty Awards, you have so much light. So it is such an honor to speak with you. Thank you so much. You're very, very welcome. I had such a wonderful time. Actually, before coming, I had an idea of the Global Beauty but when I came, the experience was world traveling. It was like a dream came true. I met so many, many people, the atmosphere, the love. I'm, I wish it was one week, but two days, it was so full of activities, events, and my God, oh, I still okay. have the feeling right yes. now. I'm so excited about hearing more about what you guys are doing. And, and uh, tell us, Present yourself and tell us why why you started this and how you started and what it's all about. I have had Jennifer on my show when we were like planning for this for this year. But today I just wanted to tell us about how you started and why you joined this and why what is the vision. So I have been an executive producer of Northwest Productions and Pageants Northwest for more than 10 years. So I produce the state pageant qualifier to Miss USA and Miss Teen USA for Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. Previously, I was a director for the state of Montana. And I'm not a pageant person, meaning I did one pageant when I was a teenager, and then I went into TV journalism. And afterwards, I started working at startup companies. But when I re-entered the pageant world, I noticed that there are so many pageants out there just in the US alone. There are hundreds of pageants. And it made me think, how come we're so separate? We are siloed and not working together. And when I was speaking with my husband, who's been doing this for more than 20 years now, I said, is there an award show that celebrates a pageant community at the international level where we have peers who are sending in nomination and actually voting on who they think is doing excellent work? And when we did research and when I did research on the internet, mm -hmm. I couldn't find anything that was very transparent that shows you here are all the awards Here's how the voting is going to be processed. Here are all the dates of when submissions are due and the voting members have access to every single nomination and will then select the winner in each category. I wanted something very fully transparent and I couldn't find anything out on the internet. So that's how the Global Beauty Award started. Our very first show was in 2018. Mm -hmm. And we are now working on our seventh annual Global Beauty Awards set for the last Sunday in April of next year. We already have the venue, the host hotel, and the schedule. And we are heads down working very hard on planning our best show yet. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And then um, I agree that this idea is really life changing for the whole pageantry world and uh, when I came here I I received so much I met people celebrities as the um, Ami Emerich uh, um, CEO of Miss Universe and uh, so many other great ladies and um, I was really really moved I've got a lot of contact I had to meet you your family and your friends your team 
So I would definitely like to encourage many of this lady outside there who want to come. I just want to ask you, does anyone who want to come has to be part of the pageantry or can we just invite also individuals Anybody can actually come. We've actually had several members and um, attendees who don't know much about the pageant, but they came because they heard it from a friend mm -hmm. and their eyes just opened so wide about the networking opportunities, like you mentioned, the um, kind uh, people who are there who are all about celebrating others. Mm -hmm. Now, the people who come to the award show they have to be comfortable celebrating others. And they're actually pretty positive people because I've never met somebody who goes to an award show and who is grumpy, right? You have to be in, in a good mood yeah. to dress up and celebrate someone in our industry who's doing excellent work. And for those who don't know the pageant industry, there's a lot of people who pour their heart, their um grit their their um time and energy resources and it's a lot of work so mm -hmm. this is a time where we celebrate each other it doesn't matter what system you're with and again there's hundreds of pageants just in the u.s alone where we can just give each other high fives because at the end of the day we're all doing the same thing and that is bettering each other bettering the community i have not met one pageant person who comes to the award show who does not come with a good attitude. People who come to the show have a good attitude and they're ready to meet other people. Exactly. Um, what is also interesting is that it's not for to compete against one another. It's just like um, we have the spirit, spirit of a party coming together, celebrating each other actually. So, and this also brings a sense of family, and uh, sisterhood, brotherhood, and I I love also the idea of having a runaway show where there were all children, all, all people. It was so fun, and it made it it reminds me of the time when I was young. I was sometimes in my room with whatever African dress, just walking, doing my own show in front of my mirror, I saw everyone coming with their best dresses and it looks so natural. And we we praise one another, children, and it was so wonderful. I wish I brought my kids. So I, I hope this time I'm going to bring my boys. I hope so. <laughs> so this whole- oh, That show, was the yeah. first time we've ever done. Oh, I'm so sorry for interrupting. I was going to say, Larissa, that, that was the very first time we've ever done a fashion show. And guess what? Next year, we're going to do it. And this time, we're breaking um, down into three categories, 17 and under, 18 and 49. Um, I'm sorry, 18 to um, 40 and 41 and up. So that way, we can give away more prizes. So in each category, we're going to award $1,000 for the best walk-off. So it's not just going to be one person winning. It's going to be three people winning because really, again, it's fun. It's a great way to kick off the award show. And who doesn't like to dress up and give their best walk, right? It's just, it's just a fun um, atmosphere. And that event is sponsored by Lloyd Enterprises, Inc., um, along with Jennifer Lloyd. Yeah, you guys are doing tremendous job. And as you said, celebrating one another. And it was so fun. I I really personally enjoyed it. And my friend Caroline enjoyed it. And it was a time that I feel like, wow, I've dreamed for this my whole life. I just want to encourage everyone who can support and be a member to be part of this. And um, yes, I would like to know this year, what are the program are you guys done with the all the program? Because last time they have uh, Christina was having femininity in business, and they were how it's going to be this time. So this year the format is very similar, except we're going to have what's called a pageant summit. It's where we're going to bring the owners and directors, and we're going to brainstorm on what we can do to make the industry better. 
And of course, we'll have some motivational uh, speakers to talk about confidence, because at the end of the day, you really have to have a lot of confidence to execute, whether you're a director or whether you're a title holder. So that's going to be the pageant summit. So that way we can, again, roll our sleeves and figure out best practices of what we can do to just make the industry better. And then afterwards, we have the influencer dinner. Last year, we had the CEO and president of Miss Universe. Both of them attended. We had the former White House doctor to three U.S. presidents there. And she's going to come back next year. In fact, she's giving away a $5,000 scholarship to anyone who is going into healthcare. You have to be an undergraduate su uh, student or somebody going into the graduate program, but she's giving away a $5,000 scholarship. You must be a VIP voting member and you must attend the award show. She's not giving away one, but two $5,000 scholarship. And that's for next year's award show. And then that evening we have our second walk-off event at the welcome party. And of course there's gonna be a charity component where proceeds will go towards um, an orphanage in Mexico. That is something very passionate to um, Jennifer Lloyd, who is best known as Mrs. Korea World. And then the following day is the big event, is the award show. We have the red carpet. Luciera is coming back to co-host the red carpet. She's been with us from the very beginning. Then it's the dinner followed by the award show. And this year, this coming next year, we're gonna have about 40 categories, way more than last year. So I've shared with you, we have the best in healthcare and that is going to be um, sponsored by Dr. Connie Mariano giving away that $5,000 scholarship. We've also separated the best current title holders by age group because there's so many wonderful current title holders that we wanted to celebrate more people. And then we've also broken down the most impactful category. Um, last year, that was the biggest category we received the most nominations. And we thought, why don't we celebrate more and divide that also by different age groups? And then we've also added the best international brand ambassador. And actually, you qualify is somebody who is outside the United States, yeah. just doing good work in the pageant community yeah. and must live internationally. So you qualify because we know you travel thousands of miles to get there. And what a great way to honor somebody um, and say thank you for not only spreading the goodwill of pageants, but the Global Beauty Awards. And we really appreciate your time, effort, and energy coming all this way. Thank you so much, Maureen. This goes straight to my heart, you know. And um, yes, and uh, I feel so encouraged and watching you guys doing this. I follow all the journey when I got an invitation by Jennifer Lloyd uh, that I really, really love. She encouraged me to join and I started following and there was such an energy. I felt like this is something I would like to experience, you know. And when you are sharing what is going to happen and the way you guys are planning, what I understand is that the family is getting bigger and bigger. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing. And you guys have such a great heart because you don't just want to limit. You want everyone to experience this. And globally, without thinking about whatever where they come from or this is just a sign of love and it's also extending the 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 beauty that is in pageantry because many people understand pageantry differently and now it's not just about going to compete wearing swimsuit but pageantry can do much more you know, this is so, so important. And what I can say is just go forward, stand in, in what you started. We are supporting you guys from Norway. I was, uh, actually it was yesterday, it was Saturday, two days ago. I was invited by the leader of Miss Norway and Miss Universe Norway 
where I share about the global view. Yes, what happened is when I came back from my competition this year, I got a phone call from the leader of Miss Norway and Miss uh, Universe. Then they put me in the Miss Norway group. I even told, I told them, they said, why don't you compete as Miss Norway? I said, I'm 44, sorry, but I would like to bring my experience. Then I came to the global beauty. Then they saw me with uh, Ami Emerich. I'm telling you, it shaped the whole group. So, <laughs> so two days ago, I was with this young lady at Miss Universe Norway, where I told her I would love to nominate her, nominate her, sorry. I would love her to join the Global Beauty. Then I started telling her about it. And uh, they were like, yes, we would love to join this. And definitely, you know, you have my support. And uh, it this is just the beginning. I... What I used to say as a woman of God is that you have not seen anything yet. When you saw in people's life with love, God, there is a lot in store. Just keep on doing what you're doing, dear. It's wonderful. And um, Thank you so much. what can I say again? I had an idea before it was, oh, yes. And you personally, you have your business, your, yes, your website and do you only um, do the global beauty or is there any other extending business you're doing into what you're doing, the production company? So I feel like I wear so many hats and I am the co-founder of the Global Beauty Awards where I'm also the executive producer of that show. I pay attention to every detail from the start to the end to the actual show. Then we also have Pageants Northwest where I oversee the state pageant qualifiers to Miss USA and Miss Teen USA for Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. Plus, I'll create, pitch, and sell docu-series. Wow. So I'm constantly looking for amazing talent in the pageant community and I'm thinking, hmm, could there be a possible show? And if so, which network would be interested in? So that's another extension of the business. Plus, I do a lot of consulting for other um, companies, and I sit on the advisory board of a nonprofit organization that's about empowering um, the young leaders of Asian Americans to be tomorrow's uh, leaders. So I've been part of that board now for a decade. What I love what I do is making connections and um, and really watching people just go after their dreams. In fact, one of our volunteers, I remember her name is Abby. She wanted to work at Good Morning America. And one of our advisory board member of the Global Beauty Awards is a producer at ABC. And when she volunteered, she took that producer um, back to the airport. And that was basically her job interview. So two weeks later, after she volunteered, this was back in 2018, she got a job. She moved from Seattle and is still working in Los Angeles. And I see her interviewing all of the major stars on the red carpet. So again, that's what's great about the global connections. That's just one story. Um, another director fulfilled her dream most recently, and she became a licensed franchisee for um, one of the countries for Miss Universe. Whoa. And she attended the Global Beauty Awards. So again, there's so many amazing connections. You just have to, when I say work the room, number one, got to have a great attitude and just meet people. And a lot of the people that you meet on social media through the pageant community, they most likely will be attending the GBA. So you already have that relationship, right? Because yeah. you're following each other um, on social media. So again, it's a great networking opportunity. And I can only imagine all the people you met <laughs> for your for your show right there's so many people exactly. to connect so with so much actually this week I'm about to interview 10 people I met at the global beauty <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's so 
like if we want just to tell to speak about what happens there we it's unbelievable and this is because you believe in your dream you didn't give up and this inspire many you know i can't wait to come next year and uh, i've invited so many friends i really want them to come and it's going to be wonderful so I'm so amazed about everything you are doing and uh, you are also a wife and very family. So I, I'm, I just give you respect and I just want to encourage you guys, you and Jennifer and all your team to keep on doing what you are doing. It's really encouraging. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you for being a light in this world. I, I'm a firm believer that we need more good news and more positive news and the negative news because the way to change the world is all about speaking light into others. And that's what the GBAs is all about. We speak light into others and show other people, look at all the good work everybody's doing. And we're part of this amazing community, the pageant community. Many of my friends I know are part of the pageant community. And, uh, and it's a community that, you know, I encourage people if they're trying to find a place to um, dream big, yeah. enter a pageant because the connections are just absolutely amazing. It's amazing. Thank you so much for honoring this invitation. I'm so, so honored and um, I love you. And uh, I'm looking forward to see you again in US next year. Of course, we're going to chat and speak together and anything I can do to be a support. I'm going to for sure speak about the global beauty and, and by inviting um, some of our friends who are there and some who are coming. I'm going to do that until the next year event. So this is my own way of contributing. Hopefully, we'll get more and more to join also from Norway. Thank you so much, Maureen, for coming. Love you. See you soon again. Oh, love you too. And, and if I can just say two more things. Um, yeah, number one, for anybody who purchases tickets early, you will get a Tomo bottle. Those bling out water bottle, very luxurious. Um, that's a gift for anybody who purchases uh, dinner tickets early. And then the second thing I want to say is the next person we honor for the Lifetime Achievement Award is a household name. And when I say she's a household name, the companies she has started, you've heard of it. And the people she discovered, these are international celebrities. And I just cannot wait to share with you who this person is. And let me tell you what she's done for women, what she's done for people, and if you have a dream and you feel like, gosh, is it too late? Can I do it? She will inspire you. Ah, I'm just, I can't wait. I just cannot wait to share who that person is. So thank you. Thank you for allowing me to have this voice to just speak my excitement. You're welcome. The pleasure is mine. Thank you so much. And send greetings and love to your family. See you soon. We talk soon. Thank you for all of you guys watching. Right, and thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for you guys watching and hopefully you will join us next year. See you next time. Bye.